So, big updates to the E36, mainly because of big breakages, but I broke the front subframe. I think this has been going on for a while, but you can tell. Yep, that's pretty broken. This is the driver's side. This is the passenger side. Uh, well, you can see the crack, but this side isn't fully broken. This part is, though, I think. Yeah. So that's fully broken. Here are the mounts. Um, Febby, Fabi, whatever. 2013 date code. Oh, this is 2014. This one's 2013. Nope, 2013. Or 2014. Driver's side, passenger side. Neither are ripped, but they're five years old. Getting worn. Um, this destroyed. Underside of it doesn't look much better. You can see the cracks. I knew about this when the engine shifted about an inch forward and the fan hit the fan shroud. Here is my new subframe. You can see the uh, where I plug welded the plate from the back, well the front to the back, and here are the two holes that are remaining for the motor mounts. And then if I flip this guy over, it's painted as well as I can in there, and then the ears are fully reinforced. Same thing with the other side. I got access to it and yada yada yada, so this should be good to go. Um, this came from, I'm guessing, a northern car because like these ears right here were all kind of rusted, so I had to quickly spray or uh, wire brush them down and then spray spray bomb them coming out of my car they're actually pretty good but again this the only way to really repair this is if I throw a plate in there and then weld up all the cracks and then grind down all the cracks it's gonna be a lot of work I don't even know if it's worth it but uh, these ears on the other side Yes, they're oil coated, but they're also perfect because this car mainly came from the southern southern states like Florida and stuff. Um, another thing, I'm doing the oil pan gasket, but a top tip for all you guys, this is the steering rack still connected to the steering coupler. Let me get to the other side. As you can see, everything is still connected. You got about six inches of room, so you do not need to worry about disconnecting this and then lining up the slides if you just let it hang. It does make it a little bit of a pain to uh, assemble first hand, but, or disassemble and assemble because the only thing I found that because this doesn't have that much slack, this front most subframe bolt is going to be a pain to get to because the tie rod gets in the way. Um, use a wrench to get it off. I think when I put it back on, if I slide the steering rack back on the mounts, it's going to land in between the two mounting bolts, and then you won't have the issue there. Anyways, uh, I don't know if I said this, I'm doing the oil pump, oil pan gasket, I'm doing the oil pump nut, and there is plenty of room without dropping the steering rack coupler. I don't know if there are enough videos online showing the, the amount of space you got, but here you go. I just have the engine supported by an engine hoist, pulled it up about an inch, so I'm not cranking on it, and the exhaust is not like slammed into the underbody. So, there you go. Uh, power steering pump is secured with a bungee strapped over the frame rail up front, and uh, I got jack stands supporting the knuckles, kind of pushing them out of the way so they're not all the way in my face when I'm working on this. And here's the setup from up top. As you can see, power steering stuff is just out of the way. Um, cooling system is out. Uh, I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but like I said, uh, fan smashed into the radiator. Radiator's not leaking, but it's also not the healthiest looking radiator. I just, see, I just found this now. And it's also from 2010, I think. Uh, 2011. So, 
It's a good radiator. I'm not broken. I might just keep it as a spare. But I have a Mishimoto one sitting around somewhere. So that's going in. Uh, other new parts. I'm trying these 034 Motorsports uh, engine mounts. These are not fluid filled. These are full rubber filled. So I'm guessing these are like the Bimmer World rubber mounts. But these are about like I think 70 bucks cheaper. So give them a shot again i never really had an issue with these besides the fact that the subframe broke and then these kind of just shook themselves and had a little bit too much play for the engine and that's that also doing transmission mounts and uh that's the end of this video so uh thank you guys for watching